Hey everybody, Jesse Casto here with Better CNC with another video. It's been a couple weeks since I put one out. Been battling just busy up here and sickness with some kind of cold, but we're getting back in the groove, getting things fired off again. So I wanted to put another video out there about a fixturing that I've started doing recently. So last year, the year before, I got a Creality K1 3D printer. I'll pan over real quick. It's under repair at the moment. Don't mind all the failed prints at the bottom. My heat, my nozzle clogged up. So I'm getting that fixed now. But I've had it for at least a year and I finally had a realization recently about something else I can be doing with it besides printing knickknacks to hang on my walls and uh, prototypes just to check things. So this is the part I did recently where it's got some, some interesting features to it. We do have two parallel sides. But we also have an angled hole here and an angled hole here. Get my focus to get a little better. So I was trying to figure out a way I could easily hold it at these angles and knock that out. I know that you can get some angle block stuff like that, but I wanted to be able to, something nice because I was making, uh, I think, 10 or 20 of these parts. And maybe it was 20, like about 24 of these parts. So I wanted something that was easy, simple, and repeatable. Because I've got a machinist, it's a couple guys that help me now, so I'm not always the one loading the machines. So I want to make sure it's it's simple and straightforward. So I 3D printed my fixtures. On one, we've got a flat surface with an arch for this to drop in right there, just perfectly. So now it's held at the right angle. It's held in a repeatable way. I still did my stop on the part itself. And now the hole is pointing straight up, so it's easy for me to tap. Really simple. Took me about 15 minutes to design it, and on my Creality K1 printer, it took, I think, 45 minutes to print. Uh, this old is kind of your discretion, user discretion. This was the first one I did, so I was just kind of tinkering with a different, different ways of doing it to keep it light. If it, I wanted it to print fast. Uh, but I also wanted it to be supported on this surface so that it wasn't going to give in at all. But I had this one, and you can see it fits real nice. You don't really see any particular gaps except where you expect to see them all the way down. And then for the other side, when I'm going to be resting on this feature, I did this one that has that pocket in there. So it drops in nice, and I was still able to stop on my part and have it the hole lined up vertically so I can drill and tap it without issue. This one, I didn't spend as much time on the support, I just wanted to get it done, so I just mocked up a couple lines and we got a fixture. So these are a couple things I've done recently. I got another fixture I did uh, earlier this week. I'll be showing in another video. Otherwise, I'm gonna get back on my schedule of a video every Friday. So. If you got any questions, if anything's come up from the last time I put up anything, make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, anything you can do to help keep me busy making videos. So, otherwise, hope this gave you some inspiration. See you in the next video.